What's going on everybody? Back with some more squats. Today's workout is uh, the Wednesday workout of my daily undulating periodization program and it is four sets of six squats. Now this is the second day of the first week of this round of the program. On the first day, on Monday, I did four sets of nine with 105 kilos, so 10 kilos less. Today I've got 115 kilos or four sets of six, and on Friday I'm gonna do 125 for six sets of three. Now, uh, the goal of this program obviously is to increase the weight every week, so this was pretty easy today. Next week will be a lot harder. I'm gonna do 125 kilos for sets of six, 115 for nines, and 135 kilos for threes, so uh, it's gonna get a lot harder, so. Uh, my hope is that this volume this week will be a good warm-up to get into the next week. And the third week will be the hardest, and then after that, I'll uh, do kind of a deload week and then just repeat the process. Now, this kind of workout is not super glamorous. Uh, it's high volume, low intensity, but, uh, you know, this is what you got to do if you want to get stronger. You can't just go to max or, you know, one rep, two rep maxes every day and make progress forever. That's a good way to plateau because you're not building any muscle or improving your technique. So uh, even though, you know, doing sets of six with 115 kilos isn't impressive at all, uh, it's actually kind of embarrassing. Uh, you know, honestly, I think it's gonna pay off big time. I think that after this block of daily undulating periodization, uh, you know, if I can hit 10 sets of, or six sets of three with 140 kilos on the third week, you know, I'll be in a good position to uh, maybe set a new one rep max PR, or at least to increase the one rep max that I did last week, which was 160 kilos. So I'm excited. I enjoy doing this kind of volume. Uh, I think it's a great way to build muscle and to get stronger and to improve your technique. When I first started this program in June, uh, I had altered my squat stance to be a bit wider than I was used to. And so my technique was really slow. My squats were really slow. They were kind of ugly sometimes with knees buckling in. But now, because of all the volume I've done, I think my technique has seen really big improvements just uh, comparing side by side. I also probably owe some of it to doing lunges. I've been doing just one set of lunges once or twice a week because lunges honestly give me really severe doms, especially in my glutes. Uh, I think it's because uh, my glutes are underactive when I squat, which is kind of depressing because I know I, I have pretty strong glutes. Uh, my deadlift is very glute dominant, but I haven't really figured out how to use them in squats. So uh, doing these lunges helps with that just because it helps with general glute activation and uh, it's also good for knee health to do unilateral work, that is to do single leg work sometimes. So I did just one lap. It's always longer than I expect. It ended up being uh, 16 reps with each leg all the way down. So it's fun stuff. It's a good way to show off to the neighbors. And then finished off with some ab wheel rollouts. I'm also only doing these once or twice a week for just one set because these give me really severe doms in my core. Uh, it's kind of strange actually. I've never, you know, I always, uh, ever since I first started working out, I always did lots of sit-ups and stuff and I never got ab doms, but ab wheel rollouts just kill my core. It's like this deep soreness that is up by the sternum. It's pretty intense, but these are really good for squats and for deadlifts. They're really good for core stability. So that's it for the workout today. I'll see you uh, with my post-workout meal here in a minute. I wanted to show off my landscaping project that I did last weekend. None of this was here. This is just a patch of weeds, but uh, I built this little fence and built this little flower bed. Uh, it took about six hours of work total and cost about $140 total. I got these big rocks. We're over there in the Lily of the Valley Garden. It's kind of a mess. I got some royal candles, uh, a small rose bush. It's kind of a sad rose bush, but it'll be nice, I think, when it grows up a little bit. And then we've got Spirea over there. And I'm not really sure what these white flowers are. I just bought them because I like the way they look. But this is my project. It was cheap. Uh, it was fun. It felt good to build. Here we got post-workout lunch. I got two uh, Italian turkey sausage links and some broccoli. Uh, these sausage links don't taste very good, so luckily I have the greatest zero calorie condiment of all time, spicy brown mustard. 
Uh, they're actually pretty good in terms of macros, though. They have 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of fat apiece, which, as far as for sausage, is just pretty good. They're also much cheaper than pork sausage. Uh, I, bought, I got five of them for $3. I'm going to experiment with uh, ground turkey and turkey sausage more just because it's cheap and the macros are good. So that is lunch. I'll talk to you guys next time.